All right, <clears throat> this one is going to show how to load up the 24 pound injector template. We're gonna use a combination of binary editor, which I'm used to myself, and we will show the changes in uh, Cal Edit, which is used with the tweaker, which I'm not very used to myself, but I did it for someone and I figured it was worthwhile showing what we did. So what I do, I have my stock tune loaded up. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go in and open template. So make sure all levels, okay, which it's always a good idea to go in there and make sure that they are. We'll click select all, okay. Now it's gonna ask us the same thing and we'll say yes. Now, 24 pound EV1 motorsports injector settings. This is a template, so we're gonna load that up. And what it's doing is it's automatically putting in all of the settings for 24 pound injectors, which is really nice. So we'll save this calibration, my stock tune, with 24 pound injectors. Got that. Okay, now what we're gonna do since that is the that's the tune that's in VE right now, we're gonna compare that under the compare button to my stock tune. Now not only does it show you the differences here, but if you go into here it shows calibration differences. So now we can see everything that's different here. So we've got our fuel injector high slope. Obviously that's changed because we went from 19 stock to 24 pound injectors. So what we'll do, I've already made the changes to his, <clears throat> but I will go into the screens where they were made. But now we're in Cal Edit, which is for Tweaker. So we'll go into the scaler and we need to find the fuel injector high slope. So like I said, I am not, I don't know Cal Edit at all. So what I did notice though is that it's really nice because it is in alphabetical order. Injector slope high. So what I've done, I changed it from the 19 pound settings to this one, which as we see here is 24.9015. So I've loaded it up here. So now we need to look for the fuel injector low slope, which is 26.217. Oh, here we go, 26.213. Obviously, Tweaker or Cal Edit rounds it down to 217. So that's for your high and low slope. Your cranking pulse width versus ECT. We'll go back to binary editor. Here are all the settings we need to put in the Cal Edit. So we'll go back to Cal Edit. We'll find cranking pulse width versus ECT. And that's going to be under a function. Let's see. Fuel. Cranking pulse width versus ECT. So, like I said, I've already put them in. So we have the ECT in degrees. So 65.53 needs to be 1.8. That's negative. Positive 6553, 1.8. So uh, Cal Edit rounds it. 180 degrees, 1.8 also. So we'll go in here, that's what we got. And you just follow this down 150 degrees, 70 degrees. Make sure that all these match up. And your Cal Editor. We're good to go. So we got that in there. Next thing we need to look at is the fuel injector breakpoint. So I'll go back to binary editor, which is your fuel and brick check your breakpoint. This one's really easy because it's all the same all the way through. 2.2192. So now we're gonna go back into Cal Edit and we're gonna find the fuel injector breakpoint. Injector breakpoint. And as you see, it's already 2.1. 
1918. So in there, we're all set to go. So we'll go in. And next is injector offset versus battery voltage. So here we go. This is the row we need to put in the cal edit. So first we need to find it. Injector offset versus battery voltage and cal edit. Offset versus, versus battery volt. Voltage is right below it. So we go into here. We got 15.9 volts, 0.4375. So let's make sure. 15.937. Yeah, 4375. Follow it down. Same thing all the way. Just make this table where the values in these columns the same as in your cal edit. So, and that's it for the differences for 24 to 19 pound injectors. So, I'm going and save this and I'm not going to save it because I've already done everything, but that's how you load up the 24 pound settings.